All right, so it's almost been four years, but it's almost been three years, actually, not four years. Four years will be next year. Um, it's almost been three years, actually, this year that I cut myself with a machete. And so it's almost three years, but I, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing these Thursday throwback stories for. If I'm going to continue them this year, if I'm going to resume them next year. So I'm doing this Thursday throwback story here because, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to if I'm going to continue these stories this year or resume them next year or something. But anyway, so, so this is the time that I cut myself in the machete. Like I said, it's almost been three years actually, which is really weird because it seemed like it was just yesterday. So, I believe I had money from pay. I think I got paid because I got my paycheck. I don't know. I, th I think that's what it was. Yeah, it's because... Yeah, because it wasn't Christmas money. I didn't have any money from Christmas, of course, because I already spent it. So it wouldn't have been Christmas money. It would have been from my paycheck. Um, so... I went to Tractor Supply, and I bought this Mazi Oak machete. And... bought it and I thought it was pretty cool I was uh opening it up and took a picture of it just to show what it looked like and I opened it up and I don't know what I don't know what I was doing why I was taking a picture or something I don't know just I don't know I don't, I don't know why I was taking a picture of it but I Open it up. The first thing I did actually was cut myself with the with the uh, packaging itself. I cut myself up on the on my hand, a little like a little little like you know little cut, not not big of a deal. So that was really nothing. That's the first thing I did because the packaging was sharp on it. It was actually really sharp, actually, and it wasn't the the machete itself. And then I open it up. I took scissors, opened it up, and then I, uh, I, uh, took it out of the, out of the, uh, out of the, uh, the, the case. I wanted to see what it looked like. And the stupid case, you know, you think that it wouldn't go through the case, the protective casing. Nope, it did. Like. It did, and I didn't know it did. Just the corner, like the corner of it was it was out. And I went like this. And I was putting it back, and I went like, like that. And that's how I got that right there. So I ran upstairs, holding my hand like this, because it hurt. It was throbbing. It hurt really bad. Blood pouring out. <laughs> and then I'll show you. I actually still got... Maybe some blood stains, actually. Hold on, I'll show you. I believe these might be blood stains. I'm not 100% sure. But I tried to get all the blood stains out, but most of some of them didn't actually come out. I think this is a blood stain right there from my hand. There was more, but I cleaned it afterwards. Trying to see if I have any in my bathroom. I don't believe so. I think all of the blood stains in my bathroom were. Uh, oh, actually, I think this might be one. Yeah, I think that's a blood stain right there. Actually, I tried to get that out of the out of the outlet, but it just doesn't. It's going to come out eventually. It's probably just going to take a long time for it to come out. But that's. I think that's a blood stain right there from my hand. Actually, what I just shown you on the outlet in my bathroom is actually not a blood stain. I was thinking about it. It's actually paint. I was doing something with paint one time. And the paint, of course, I had it in my hands. And it splattered on the... Uh... Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's paint or if that might be the blood stain. But I tried to get that out with so many cleaners. I just haven't got a cleaner that I could get that out with. So I, I've, I've, I've cleaned that. And a lot of the blood stains that I did have with my hand are are gone they're no longer you know no longer visible they're all gone and everything but 
for the longest time there was stains, but but I but most of the stains are out by now. I mean, it's been three years, so. Um, but actually, I remember when I got home from the uh, doctors. I actually did get uh, my mom. Actually, my mom. Okay, so actually, f f let's go back. So, go up, go upstairs. And I thought that maybe okay, it was just a small little cut, but no, it was bleeding. It was bleeding all over the place. <clears throat> it was bleeding. I, I, it was bleeding up the stairs, and like we had carpet at the time, and it was bleeding up the carpet, my hand, and I was holding it. I knew that something, I knew that it wasn't just a typical cut, you know. I thought, okay, it's something. So I went upstairs and told my mom. And I, I'm like, mom, my hand is bleeding. She thought I was kidding because I've done this joke before where I, I told my mom that my hand was bleeding. And she she actually didn't believe me at first. And I'm like, mom, my, hand's not ble my hand is bleeding for real. And so she looked at it and she could see the blood dripping, you know. And, uh, so, I, uh, so my mom rushed, my mom took a, a, uh, kitchen towel, wrapped around my hand, and I put it above my hand, and I'm trying to put the seatbelt into the buckle, my mom rushes, we, my mom rushes up to the doctor's office, and, out of, without, without uh without waiting they take me directly back to this little room and there's no windows or anything there's just a little room here and they take me back and they put this alert thing on beep 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 beep, beep and they rush me back and um they think that they thought I was going to go unconscious but I actually didn't go unconscious because all the blood that I was that I was losing you think that, oh yeah, he's going to go unconscious. But I didn't go unconscious, luckily. And, uh, and then they tell me that they're going to put, um, numbing with a needle. Oh my, that was the worst cut. Or that was the worst pain in the world. I, besides like maybe tooth pain, that was the worst pain in the world. I, um, that was, I, I, I still got like, sometimes, you know, there's like, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you know, you have the, the, the scars and everything. Sometimes they, they hurt sometimes like this throb sometimes. I mean, I think like maybe some of like the vessels or something got punctured or whatever when I cut myself with a machete. So sometimes this does throb every once in a while. It doesn't throb as much as they used to, but, um, wow, that hurt the worst pain in the world. That was the worst. Like getting a tattoo was not that bad. Getting a tattoo was, I think I got pain intolerance from getting a tattoo. I think that might have helped me get more tattoos than I actually got. Or even get a tattoo because I think my pain intolerance with getting with getting this, the, the numbing. Oh, that was the worst pain in the world. And, uh, and obviously I had to have a mask on because it was... You know, like the height of COVID, um, it was the uh, the sec the you know the second year of COVID, and twenty or the first yeah the first official year or whatever second year or whatever. So everywhere we still had to wear a mask, but they told me they're like you know if you if you need to take off your mask, we know you're okay. You can take off. I'm like no, I'll just keep. I'm gonna keep it on because you know. But uh, they thought I was gonna go unconscious. And luckily they had stitches there, or I forgot what the what what else they call it, but they stitched my. The, that didn't hurt as much as the needle going, and that actually hurt really bad. And then after like a week, it was supposed to heal up, and it wasn't healing up. And then they they called Burlington, they called the hospital over there. They said they're gonna set me up for surgery because they thought I had like a blood condition. Well, they still think I have a blood condition, actually, because when I get a cut, like, something like that deep did not heal up. Like, it should have been healed up, like, four days after. It was still, like, open, and it still had, you know, it was still not, I was still not able to use it, really. Um, 
So they, they were worried. They thought I had a blood condition or something. And so they were setting me up for surgery and everything. And then Burlington never called back. And then like it took about probably three weeks to a month for this to heal up like properly. And then when I got the COVID vaccine in 2021, they took they took out the stitches and everything or whatever the heck they call it. And um, so, yeah, but that was the, and also the worst pain was getting the stitches out. Those that was actually hurting, too. But I was able to go back to work. I actually was out of work for about three weeks or so or almost a month. But I was able to go back to work and my boss, she there were they were uh, understanding. I mean, that's this is the hand I use to work. I mean, it's not like I can use my left hand. I mean, I could have, but I I probably wouldn't have been able to work really well because this is the hand I don't you know I'm 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 a right handed I don't, I don't use my left hand, you know. So, um, I I mean, like I said, I could have used this hand to work. I could have gone to work. I probably should have went to work and at least tried to work, you know, because I think now looking back at it, I think I could have worked but they didn't want me to work with my hand or with my hands because they didn't want me to accidentally you know cut this again and then i was out work so it would have been worse because you know i had to go by ambulance to hospital and whatever so you know but anyway this is the time this is thursday throwback here almost three years like i said the time that i uh cut myself with a machete